guys. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Tuesday night's Dreamstruck. Tonight's topic is going to be PRV and high PRV. We do have a guest speaker who is joining us, Jen Holderly. And it says hot mess Jen Holderly on her um, thing. That's probably how I live my life, so I can relate to this. So, um, Jen, welcome to our Dreamstruck call on Tuesday night. I was just going over our panelists. And Carol, what the hell are you doing here? I just gave you an out. Aren't you on vacation? No, next week. Next week. Oh, damn it. I was like, she's <laughs> in Disney World somewhere. Okay, so like, No, we're going to Universal Studios next week. I swear to God, I thought it was today. But that, you guys, is my half-ass reading um, because I like skim messages. So um, we are going to talk tonight about high PRV. Um, Jen is going to bless us with probably all the different ways that you can do it. She is um, definitely a high PRV person. We will then go through the panelists, see if there's any top tips. Make sure that you guys, if you do have questions, to put them in the chat. We will go through them and make sure that everybody's questions are answered if we have enough time. Um, so I just was talking to you guys about the new catalog launch. And sometimes when the new catalog launches, there's so many people rushing to their workstations trying to get a certain thing. And before we get into the nitty gritty and the high peer view tonight, I want to see, was there anything that you guys were like dying to get? And you were really worried about it selling out. Um, go ahead and turn your stuff on and we'll just give it like two minutes while we're getting warmed up here to see what are the, the hot items that you guys were in search of when you, when that 8-1 date hit. And everybody's going to be scared to talk. So BPP, I'll start with you. What's the one thing you had to get on 8-1? The air purifiers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody's saying in the chat too. Cloudberry dreams and the clean line. Yeah. Lisa Sunday Dixon. Tell us yours. I love when, when I call on somebody and they look up like, shoot, she just called on me. <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry guys, um, I'm writing a thank you a thank you card right now. Um, what am I saying again? My favorite item from the new catalog? Yeah, what was the one thing that you were like dying for on 8-1? Oh, the, the air purifier. Definitely the air purifier. I can't, I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm, I'm gonna get it soon. Me I'm super okay. excited. Mine's in the mail somewhere. Well, you gotta let, let us know how it is when you get it, like oh, ASAP. I will be on this video with it super quick. I should have it by next Tuesday for sure. Donna Body Felt. What the hell are you on there? Work? What are you working on over there? I am trying to get organized and I'm putting all my stickers in a binder. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm putting all my stickers alphabetically in a binder with uh, these uh, sleeves. That's genius. Do you want to uh, put, um, oh, we can't share pictures in the chat. I hate that. I know. Um, yeah, I just got these um, cheap little page, page cover things off Amazon, like, I don't know, 50 or 100 of them. And I'm putting, um, oh, I got this background. Anyway, I'm putting one on one side and one on the other. So you can just flip the pages and see what stickers you have. I'm going to give you guys a really good tip real quick while we're talking about stickers, just because it's random. And I send a lot of fun mail and I know you guys, at least you guys that are leaders, I don't care if you're a lead consultant, a star consultant or whatever. Um, you might be looking for fun mail, cheap fun mail at that. And you probably have a bunch of old stickers that are even scent of the month stickers. Um, I cut them up and I put like six I cut them up into six little groups of six and I'll put like, I don't know, five or six of them together, five little groups of six. And then I'll put them in an envelope and I'll send them to my team. But on the outside of the envelope, I'll draw, I'll do like a little flower, like two little stickers. And then I'll draw a little, I don't have any right by me, but I'll do a little stem and make flowers out of it. Or you can do um, Halloween pumpkins at um, Halloween time coming up. So I do all kinds of fun stuff with the stickers, but then even if the stickers are discontinued, 
I send them in fun mail because your teammates can use them for stuff just even to decorate their envelope or if you're mailing bills, nobody mails bills in anymore. We all do that right. But if you have anything going in the mail, your teammates like will love it. Um, and then they can also try to smell some different scents that maybe they didn't smell before. So enough about I, that. Oh. Everybody mute yourself, please. Cause I don't know how to do this. Um, and we are gonna hear from Jen Holderly. So Jen, when you are ready, go ahead and unmute yourself and take over. Okay, hold on. Before she starts, can I say something? Oh, go ahead. I'm gonna say it because she won't. No, um, no, be quiet, Amber, be quiet. No, I'm gonna say it. So Jen is my <laughs> Cincy bestie. Sorry. Sorry. Someone just came to pick up something from my porch. And she told me this today. She got an email today from home office um, to spotlight her on the workstation because she was the top PRV earner in North America. Whoa. I'm assuming last month the email didn't say, but fairly recently. So you guys are learning from the best. I hope you have something to take notes on and with because she is a wealth of information and she has taught me so much. Oh, thank you. I miss you. I miss you. I, miss you. You guys, I, I you. want to see everybody's notebooks. Everybody should have a notebook. <laughs> I'm so ready. So ready. I don't, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Let's start with where you started in your Sensi journey because we haven't met yet. And I want to know who the hell you are and how the hell are you the number one consultant in North America? Okay, so I started in 2012. Actually, I'm about to have my nine year anniversary on August 28th. Um, and I just started selling it because my neighbor brought me over the product. I was looking for an alternative to candles and my neighbor introduced me to Scentsy. I had looked up, you know, for a consultant on the actual website and found out that there was one like a street over. So I messaged her and I said, hey, you know, I almost burned our house down with a candle, but I love, love, love my house to smell good. So what is this Scentsy stuff? I've been seeing it everywhere. So I bought from her for a few months and I had done another direct sales company in the past, but I didn't really have any, like, I didn't do any good with it because it was makeup and like, look at me, I'm a hot mess all the time. I never do my makeup. I never do my hair. I'm lucky if I take a shower. So um, I just didn't fit well with me. I'd always loved things that smell good. So um, she got me to join. She talked me into joining and she didn't know anything. She just sold, sells three, you know, the $200 every three months, bare minimum. That's what it was when we started back then to get stuff for her and her friends. So she was absolutely no help to me. So Meanwhile, I was working a nine to five job doing medical billing and coding in a hospital, sitting behind a desk, dealing with migraines from the fluorescent lighting and a bunch of different problems. And I just said, look, I have to make this work. I want to work for myself. I want to stay at home with my dogs. I don't want to have to set an alarm clock every morning because I am not a morning person. So I watched YouTube videos every night. I laid in bed watched YouTube every night and did my own research. Um, I loved Katie Farner. I watched the heck out of Katie Farner when I first started. Um, you know, just a bunch of different people and learning everything that I could. Um, I jumped on the buy, sell trade pages in my area and I offered free samples. I tried to find schools that had craft fairs or vendor fairs or things like that going on. When I first started, I did everything and I ran myself ragged working my full-time job for four years and building my Scentsy business. And I finally was able to quit and do this full-time. So this is my full-time job now. I live in St. Louis, Missouri. For those of you that don't um, know me, I don't have kids. Me and my husband don't have kids. We love to travel and we have three crazy dogs. We just got a puppy and she's so adorable. She's a French bulldog. Um, and yeah, I'm just my hot mess self. So what else do you guys wanna know? What's the most you've sold in one month in here? Uh, 30,000. One month really? I did 30,000. I don't remember what month it is. I want to tell you guys, I don't do anything with a website. I don't have any other website besides my personal website. I don't do anything with Google ads. I don't do anything with computers. It is all me. It is all me getting sales, 
doing mystery bags for my customers, doing monthly hot mess boxes for my customers, having open houses at my house and letting my customers come in, smell the scents, talking to everybody about hosting a party. I don't care if they're going to tell me no. I'm going to ask them to host a party anyway. And I'm going to keep asking them until they finally agree to host a party with me. And they always say, why didn't I do this sooner? This was so much fun. So, but I'm struggling with that right now, as a lot of you probably are. I feel like um, home parties are non-existent anymore. I was supposed to have one Sunday. Everybody canceled last minute. So the hostess canceled on me. So I'm just hoping that home parties are going to get back to normal soon because that is my favorite. It's my favorite. So I just want to confirm, you said 30,000, like three zero. Yeah, 30,000. Yeah, 30,000. So, you know, 30% commission, that's almost making 10 grand just off of your, probably is with the bonuses off of your own sales. So it is possible you can do it without, you know, having a degree in IT or anything like that. That is super, super inspirational. I think <laughs> what we'll do, um, why don't we go through the panelists? Each panelist can have a question ready for Jen. And then we'll go that route. And then Jen, you can add anything you want to that, obviously. And if Sorry. there's anything that jumps out, just go ahead and spit it out because okay. I'm a hot mess like that too. And <laughs> I love it. I love you, it. Um, at the end, we'll open it up for other people's questions and we'll just kind of scan them to make sure we're not repeating them. Okay, that works. Okay, go ahead. Anybody jump in. Um, before before we get started, we actually have someone unmuted. Could, could everyone just take a quick look at their cameras and please make sure that you are muted. We have some interference. And for Thanks. those of you that don't know, I'm not Teresa, um, but I'm on Teresa's computer. So it's just me. <laughs> I don't I don't have admin privileges, so I'm unable to go and do it myself. So I'm just asking everyone. Really, if you make us co-hosts, we can mute people. I think I know how to do that. Co-hosts. Carol, make co-host, Carol. Yep, okay, now I got it. Now I can mute people, yay. <laughs> Thank you. This just, keeps, this just keeps the recording clear. Okay, bye. Okay, so um, I'll go. Hey, Jen, what's oh up? Oh boy, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Okay, what's your, what's your one tip that you can give someone on how to increase their PRV this month? How to increase their PRV this month? Um, I say push all the LTOs, make your own specials. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not ready for fall scents right now. It is a hundred degrees right here in the Midwest. Like my house is so cold. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and a hoodie because it's so cold in here, but you go outside and you just immediately start sweating. So make your own specials this month. Maybe do a like beat the heat six pack or a I'm not ready for everything freaking pumpkin spice six pack or something like that. So my biggest thing is just be yourself. Let your customers get to know you. My VIP group, I run it like a blog. My customers, you know, they know a lot about my life. They know a lot about my dogs and, you know, I feel like a friend to them. So they don't mind ordering from me and, and helping me reach a goal this month because I'm not just hitting them up every other month when my, you know, $500, whatever I need is due. So um, create some personal specials that are really like personal to you. Put your dogs on the flyers, put your kids on the flyers, beat the heat mystery bags. Like there's tons of different things that you can do this month. Highlight the clearance section if there's a bunch of stuff on clearance. Um, Amber taught me the best thing ever. Take the whiff box, $30 whiff box, split it up and have two $15 mystery bags this month. Um, keep it spicy, keep it fun, always do different things for your customers. Yeah, that's great. Um, I do have a question. So obviously we know you're not getting 30,000 PRV um, by having just a handful of customers. So I want to really know, I think I heard you just say that you have a blog, which I'm sure attracts a lot of attention to you as a person, obviously talking about life outside of Sensi. Um, if someone, let's say, you know, most people on here, including myself, are not bloggers. Um, but if we're wanting to grow our customer base, you mentioned getting on the buy sell trade or buy sell pages. Um, mm -hmm. Besides that, is there anything else that you're doing that's bringing in the kind of um, attraction to you that's making people buy? Right now, it is 
Facebook parties. That is how I am meeting the majority of new people that I don't know that aren't already in my immediate circle after doing this for nine years. So even if they come to the Facebook party and they don't purchase anything, if they join my VIP group and purchase three months down the road, that is what is helping me right now in getting you know more customers into my VIP group. How do I find these people that have Facebook parties? I ask my best customers. I say, hey, look, you know, August is a struggle for me. I'm not going to lie. It always is. People are busy. They're going on last minute vacations. They're getting ready to go back to school. They're, you know, getting the kids ready and doing all of that stuff. So hi, Carlos. So I'm always like super real with my customers. I'm like, hey, can you help me out this month and host a Facebook party? It's only a week long. You put your friends in this group. I message you, you know, the whole time and help you throughout the whole thing. I coach you along the way. All you have to do is a few simple things. It's really going to help me branch out, maybe meet a new people. Um, I do have a hot mess Facebook mock party that everyone uses. I have some really bad news. I'm not redoing it for fall and winter because I decided to make all of my own images for my Facebook party this year. So um, all of my images are gonna have my website on them. They're gonna have my face, my dog's face. They're gonna be very personal. Um, so I won't be posting the mock Facebook party this year, but um, getting those Facebook parties right now is key. Even if it doesn't make $200, you're still meeting a few new people to get in your VIP group, to get on your email list, your text list, whatever you post in the party and have them join. I love that. That's awesome. I hope everybody's taking notes still. I do have a follow-up part B to that. I want to know what kind of follow-up system are you using? Because surely, you know, you're doing a lot of that, even if yeah. you aren't ordering. So I'd love to know how you're maintaining that and keep, as you guys know, she has to be very consistent in order to keep up with this many customers. So I, I want to know. Yeah. So I kick myself because the first two, three years of my business, I was busy working my nine to five, busy growing Scentsy, and I didn't do any follow-ups. So I tried a couple of systems. I tried the binder system. I tried a bunch of things. And then um, Amy came out the app. So I basically use Amy for all of my follow-ups and, you know, people that are in my VIP group that I that I know see my post on a daily basis, that I know comment in my VIP group that I talk to. I don't, I don't follow up with them. I just skip their follow-ups and I just follow up with the newer people. So, but I love Amy. It is so easy to use. Um, you can personalize the templates, put your own things in there. Like I'm having an open house in two weeks. So I added that to my follow-ups and I think it is just super easy to use. It is definitely worth the eight bucks it is every month or whatever it is. That is awesome. I'm glad to see you're using tools that Sensi is giving us to work your yes. business so people can see you're not doing anything crazy. You're just, you're asking people to host and you're using a follow-up system and you're just yes. replicating that day by day. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. And I ask everybody, even if they say no to me, I'm like, okay, brush it off, whatever. Thanks girl. Have a great day. You know, and they'll come back to me and order again. And again, I'm not afraid to be told no. And that is definitely something that I had to learn. You guys, I am not, I was not like that in the beginning. So, um, just learn to be told no, and don't be afraid to ask everybody. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to go next. So Jen, oh I know you very well, and you always blew me away um, pre-COVID with your home parties. Every mm -hmm. time I talked to this girl, she was going to a home party, coming home from a home party, um, setting up a bajillion home parties, home party, home party, home parties, all the home parties. In her COVID, no more home parties. No more. This girl did not. This girl did not lose momentum though. Um, so I know how you did it because you kicked my butt into gear to do it, but I want you to tell everyone else um, how you didn't miss a beat. Like you did not miss yeah. a thing. I, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I miss home parties so much. I love going to people's houses and, you know, seeing their kids and their dogs. And like, I feel like it's just a Midwest thing. Like we love to host things here in the Midwest. We're very friendly. We like to have people over, we like to make snacks and stuff like that. So I definitely miss that. And I told Amber, I guess I'm going to have to learn how to do these Facebook party things. So I tried it a couple ways in the beginning and it didn't work. And then I was finally like, you know, I'm just going to do it a week long, super easy. Um, so I just dove right in, created the mock party 
got all my friends, you know, posted a picture of guinea pigs and said, hey, I'm trying out this Facebook party thing. I need a couple of guinea pigs to help me out. So um, it just started rolling from there. In the party, I kind of play a game to host parties off of parties. So everything keeps spiraling. I really, I don't do fundraisers. People keep asking me that. I don't do big fundraisers. That's not how I get my PRB. It is all parties and orders from my VIPs. Um, but you want to keep that rolling. You want to use that perpetual party reward to your advantage. Be like, come on, don't you want to help out your friend Amber? She's going to get another half off item if you host a party. We had so much fun this week. So I just dove right into the Facebook parties, tried to make them short and simple, but also personal. Yeah, so that's my Ashley that wants to know what game do you do to keep it spiraling? Because I know like it, it is hard to book parties. I mean, Jen can even say that is true. She gets told no all the time. I get told no all the time. All the panelists get told no all the time, just like y'all do. But Jen um, has a system for booking parties from parties. So uh, can you tell us about that game and then yeah. just generally like how you keep the parties going? Yeah, so I'm changing it up this year, but for spring and summer, I had this post and it said like pick a bar and it had like numbers on it, like one through nine, and they just commented with a number. And every time they would comment, I would go in and say, sending you, you know, a personal message. And then I would just send them a personal message and explain, hey, you're going to get, you know, um, a six pack for five bucks or a six pack of circles for four bucks. And your friend Amber is also going to get a half off item if you host an easy peasy Facebook party like she did this week. I say, do you think you have any friends that would be interested? What date can I book for you? I always end with that question. What date can we set for you? Um, because my people know I get super busy and super booked up. So you, even if you don't, you want to make it sound like that. So <laughs> I was like, what date can I book for you? And then if I see that they read it and they don't respond, I don't keep bothering them. I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to send them three, four or five message. Obviously they weren't interested. If they were, they would have written me back. So, um, and then if someone does host a party, I'll be like, that's awesome. Get the date set up. I'll go back into the host. This is Facebook party. And I'll say, you know, Lisa, thank you so much for hosting a party. You're helping Amber get another 50% off item. So I kind of create a little bit of FOMO with the hostess's friends. And they're like, oh, I need to help Amber out too. And I want some free Sensi too. So um, just keeping everything easy and light in your Facebook parties and following up with people, getting them to join your VIP group. I have a post that asked them to join my VIP group. It asked them to join my email list and it asked them to join my text list. And if you've seen my mock Facebook party, they get tickets um, if they do those things. So I think that really helps. And then I'll send them like a cute little packet. Whoever wins the prize at the end of the party gets a cute little packet. All it has is scent circles, samples, and a coupon to like get a warmer for a dollar if you host a party. I'm not sending them warmers. I'm not sending them a whole six pack. I'm not going broke. I keep it easy and simple. Okay, one more follow-up question and I promise I'll let someone else speak. Um, <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work. It sounds like a lot of work to keep it up with all of these parties. So how do you streamline it to keep your posts running smoothly um, for you to be able to keep up with all these things? Because I know you've told me so many times you get tired of staring at a screen, but I know that you fixed that. So like, I how do you, how do you manage it all? And also sec second question, uh, how do you do the drawing tickets? Because yeah. I know that that's not as overwhelming as it seems. So this year for my fall and winter party, I am keeping it super easy peasy. I am doing about three to four post per day and that is it. I do all of my posts in the evening between 8 and 9 p.m. because I feel like people are done with the day. They got the kids in bed. They got dinner done. Maybe they're on their phone scrolling on Facebook. So I feel like if you consistently post at the same time in the parties every evening before I post, I tell my hostesses, hey, you guys, I'm posting about wax and warmers tonight. So share a warmer that you hope to earn from this party. So I'm hostess coaching the whole week, I put my hostesses in a group chat and I kind of make it like a little game. I'm like, okay, you guys, whoever has the biggest party this week is going to get a little extra prize from me. So, you know, I'll coach them in the chat and be like, this is what we're doing tonight. I'm getting ready to post right now. And I can schedule those posts. I use Facebook groups for my parties. I just use a public group. I have my hostess share it on her Facebook wall. I have her add her friends to the group. So you can schedule posts in groups on 
Facebook. So if I know I have something going on tonight at eight o'clock, I'm not going to be available to post. I know that when I'm working during the day, I need to sit down and take time to schedule those Facebook posts that need to pop off for the evening. And the tickets, I don't keep track of them, you guys. I don't. I pick someone who ordered from the party and who who participated in the party. They're never going to know, I promise you. And if they do, they're thinking about getting free stuff too hard, and I'm not worried about them. So um, I just pick a random person that supported the party and commented in the party. I'm super real with you. <laughs> Emily's laughing at me. I love that. I've done, I'm so guilty. I've so done that. I'm like, I'm not giving away something to somebody who clearly was only there for the free stuff. No way. I know. No way. That is my most asked question in the mock party. Well, how do you keep track of the tickets? You know, you just act like you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, a follow up to what Amber was saying. So I have to ask, are you using, and what I love is like, you're not using all these different programs. Not that I have anything against anyone that does use them. In fact, I've thought about getting into them, but the, uh, the idea of simply like, oh my gosh, another program to have to mm -hmm. learn how to use. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, I love that you're not doing that. You're just using what's available to you. You don't have to pay for any subscriptions. Um, what are you using though? You mentioned a text list. Are you using a program for that? I am. I just started using Project Broadcast. I am not sure if I'm using it correctly, but I have been sending out group texts to my customers and they've been buying things. So I must be doing something right. Um, so I use Project Broadcast. I use MailChimp for my email service. I worked at a college a long, long time ago and we had MailChimp, so I knew how to use it. I am almost 40, so I'm not the most tech savvy person all the time. Like I got the TV stuck on voice menu forever and it was reading the, the guide to us every time we turned the TV. So I, I'm not good with technology. So I use Project Broadcast for texting, MailChimp for email. I use Canva. I make all of my flyers in Canva on my computer. It is so easy to use. There are tutorials on YouTube on how to use it if you don't know how to use it. I use the workstation and I use Facebook and Instagram and that's about it. And Instagram, I'm never consistent with that. So <laughs> But yeah, yeah you Kelly, Kelly and I have this uh, conversation going back constantly. Neither one of us is consistent with posting stories. So we're constantly trying to be like, okay, what can I post in my story today? We're just, you know, you're too busy living that you're not thinking yes. to document and record everything that you're just, doing every day. So I just, Kelly yeah, I, I don't, yeah. I don't care I about that. I, I guess I use on my story as I did when I put Kool-Aid in the pickles. Like people are all over my stories right now. They're like, how did you make these Kool-Aid pickles? And I'm oh like, I don't gosh. know, you gotta go look at my story. And I'm like, for real, it's just Kool-Aid guys. It's just Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge, um, I, I try to, you know, I feel like if I've learned anything over the, the last, the pandemic and, and losing all my home parties, I really learned to slow down and kind of like put myself first and like, you know, I need to be happy. If I need to take a break from Cincy, I need to take a break because I won't lie to you guys. We don't have kids. We don't have kids. We have three dogs. I have a lot of friends, but my business is my baby. My husband works shift work. So sometimes he's not here in the evening. So I'll work, you know, all day while he's sleeping and then I'll work all evening while he's at work. So um, I do work it a lot, a lot. So Jen, I got one. Um, do you feel like now that you've taken a step back, so to say, um, mm -hmm. do you feel like your customer service has taken up a notch versus when you were go, go, go? Yeah. I feel like waiting to answer their messages when I'm in the mood the next day and giving myself the evening off to recharge, hang out with friends, veg on the couch, whatever I want to do, go drive the golf cart. Um, whatever I want to do to veg out that evening and just waiting until the next day, it is so much more better customer service. And I end up having a longer conversation with them because I'm in the mood, I'm working and my customers understand they have been so amazing. They're like, Jen, you have got to slow down. You've got to take time for yourself. They love seeing me take time for myself. I went kayaking on Friday with some friends and I posted, uh, you know, some pictures in my VIP group of us kayaking. So they love to see that stuff. Yes, Amber, you can share the mock party link. And when I get my new Facebook party up, I'll let you guys see it. Um, maybe you can just find different flyers or maybe I can be like inspiration for you to make your own flyers because I feel like I'm getting better and better at it the more that I'm making them. 
That's awesome. Okay, so you mentioned that you don't do a lot of online sales, which, you know, a lot of times when we hear about these crazy high PRV years, they, they do a lot of online sales. I mm -hmm. know for a fact that you don't because I've been to your house twice and there's Cincy everywhere. Tell them how you keep up with getting all that product to everybody. It's a lot. Um, I have, I am very, very blessed with an awesome group of girlfriends that will come over and help me for, you know, some pizza and some wings and a movie night to get away from their kids or whatever. So I have a lot of girlfriends, even customers that will come over and help me. So if you are feeling overwhelmed and you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help or, you know, ask the little neighbor girl across the street if she can label Scentsy bars for you or something like that. Like it's, it just got to be too much. And I was trying to do everything. And I was screaming at my husband because he wasn't helping me, you know, after he got off work. And so I just started asking, I hate to ask for help. I'm one of those people that wants to do everything myself. I hate to ask for help. I'll do, I'll help anybody else, but I won't help myself. So I think the biggest thing is, you know, just ask for help if you need help. But yes, there's always a ton of product moving through my house. I used to do hot mess boxes every month for two years. I did them every month. I put together my own little cute little box for all of my customers every month. And it's just got to be too much. So I've been doing them sporadically now. Um, I have been finding a lot of people don't mind paying for shipping. We did move a little bit further out from our old house, maybe like seven or eight miles, but the roads are like this. So um, a lot of my people have been paying for shipping and stuff like that. So yeah, use your kids. They're free, you know, child labor. So <laughs> I know Dorothy is hiding somewhere in this group. Dorothy to the front of the screen. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy's name is Dot. <laughs> you have to call her Dot. <laughs> So hi, Jen. So good to see you. Um, you. For those of y'all who don't know, she's my one of my boot camp sisters and boot camp roommates. Boot camp roommate. First time I traveled by myself, had a roommate I didn't even know. I did it. I did it. No, I know. We had so much fun. Yeah. Uh, but I want to ask you, going back to VIP groups, um, mm -hmm. you, I know you said in the Facebook parties, you post in the evenings, but what do you do for your VIP groups? Do you also do that in the evening or do you post throughout the day or what do you see that's worked for you? Yeah, that's a good question. So my VIP group, I try to hit morning and then afternoon around lunch break. If I'm busy and I forget, I don't always do lunch break. And then mm -hmm. um, evening between eight and nine. And I try to do different things in my VIP group. Like we have my computer just shut off. I'm trying to turn it on. So I look brighter. Um, but we have Monday madness where we do something stupid like you do you roll your toothpaste up like this or do you squeeze it like this like it's just silly things and then um tip tuesday i try to share like a sensi tip on tip tuesday wax wednesday and smelly sunday is something that i have been consistent with for years in my vip group um so when i change my wax on wax wednesday i post a picture and i ask my people what they're changing their wax to i do the same thing on smelly sunday consistently every wednesday every sunday if i don't do it fast enough my VIPs start posting their own in my VIP group and trying to do their own Wax Wednesday and Smelly Sunday. Um, what else did I have? I had this or that Thursday where I would take like this mini warmer or this mini warmer and pick your favorite. And then I have like a VIP special Friday and I try to do a special on Fridays, but I don't always do them. Um, I do, I do try to stay consistent in there, just sharing my life. Like, right. Hey you guys, you know, today I took, I slept till I, took the day off and I slept on the couch till 2 p.m. and it felt great and then I had to go do this and then I had to go do that and like they just love seeing my everyday day right. day life too and things oh I love that I love that okay thank you and one of my other questions but I think you answered it um because you said you're making all your images but you use Canva uh-huh Canva it's so easy uh, okay okay <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. The first time I used it, I was like, oh my God, I have to pay for the pro version and how do I do this and how do I do that? But you can even click a button and remove a background in Canva. It is so easy. Mm. I watched a couple tutorials on YouTube and I just dove right in. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank and you. To you can add, do it. And to add, and to, add okay. to the Canva thing, um, 
everything is saved in your, like in my design. So like Jen was saying, she's going to go back and she's going to change all of her flyers, right? So she can take mm -hmm. something she created a season ago and then go back. And it's simple as like deleting one picture and then just dragging and dropping in something for fall. Right. So she can have the basis of the picture made. It's just simply just changing font. It's, it's awesome. I love it. It is, it is amazing. And you can pop like pictures in there from the marketing tab on the workstation. You can just upload them right to Canva and then they're all in there. So if you want to do a pod special on Friday for your VIPs, but you want to make your own flyer, the pod images are already saved in there and you can just pop them on a new flyer. They even have like, Amber, I see the cutest flyer and then it'll be one of the pre-made like flyers on Canva. And I'll be like, that's so creative. I should have made that. And then I'll look in the pre-made ones and she just deleted a few things here and there. So they do have pre-made flyers too. Girl, okay. yeah, I can't create crap, but I can definitely <laughs> use a template and slap my mug on there. So yeah. and if you're on the free version of Canva and you um, want to remove a background, I think you have to pay for it on Canva to remove the background, but there is a website, write this down, everyone. It's called remove.bg remove.bg and you can remove the background from your photo and slap it on a flyer and it makes it so much more fun and personal yeah I like look people love this. look this is Shelby oh, she's our new baby Shelby. we also oh have two God. Boston Terriers and my customers love to see them on my flyers so I'm always like look. staging them taking pictures with them so they can be on my next flyer so oh cute oh, no. cute oh. cute I love your doggy so cute She's but guys, I want to what I've gotten from Hot Miss. Oh my gosh, she has. <laughs> I mean, uh, Jen, you just don't know. I mean, I share your mock party with all my team members. I'm not a party person. You know, for ten years I worked nothing but events. No home parties for me. No Facebook parties. Nothing. Everything I've learned about party has come from your party. Your mock party. Oh my party. gosh, that's and amazing. I, I love it. Every, as a matter of fact, I got a party going on right now. And because your party is still the spring party, I had to go in there for Nagla a little bit. So what I did, I went to the Flyers group and got the most recent ones and kind of substituted what you have in there. Yes. But the, the things that were current, I used what was current. Now, one thing I did find, Jen, okay, when I get the little tickets that you offer, well, his flag in that now it's not allowing me to post that okay so i have a solution for that so my new flyers for this season for every flyer that they can get a ticket for let me see if i can turn this around and show you guys i'll put this little ticket lady up here in the corner on my flyer so every flyer that's going to be worth a ticket i'm not going to put it in the description i'm just going to have that little ticket girl on the flyers so that's my way around that this year. That's my other little ticket girl. So That's I'm gonna cool. I'm gonna try not to put it in the description. One of my flyers says, you know, what the tickets are for and it explains everything about the tickets. So I'm gonna have my hostess tag everybody in the tickets flyer and then have them look for that little lady on the each flyer. Well, thank you for that workaround because I'm like, whoa, it's flagging it. It wouldn't even it took it out. Yeah, it had, Web, had websites too. I'm trying to have my website on every flyer this fall so that people are like, how do I order? How do I order? So the website's going to be on every flyer. You just go to hotmesswax.com, place your order. Well, thank you for that. Cause it's like, how do I work around that? But that's I know. about your mark parties is that as busy as I am and I'm not savvy at all. It's so easy to work it. And just like yeah. you were really choosing people, for the tickets, well, I've got two people to join from my team. Well, actually more than that, from each party, I'm getting people to join. And I'm choosing people who are buying stuff, you know, to give the gift to or whatever. Right, you know? right. So that's, well, it's still fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was, I just threw it up there to see if anybody would be interested in, because I had a hard time learning how to do a Facebook party. I tried to do them live for a while I tried to do them for two weeks I tried to do them for a month and I finally just I was like all right this is what we're gonna do for a week so someone's like explain what you do with tickets if you look in the mock Facebook party you'll see um different posts that they have to engage on the post and then they get a ticket towards a party prize well now remember to stay in compliance you cannot say you'll get a free mini warmer 
you can't say, you know, you'll get a party prize worth $35 or anything like that. I just say the party prize is the sample pack. That's the best thing to say. It's a sample pack. So, um, but it's, it's working. I guess it's working and I'll have to share my fall and winter one with you guys. Jen, one of the questions is, is there a Visley template for this party? No, I don't know anything about Visley. I don't know how to work it and I don't want to learn. Um, I will do the Visley template for all of us. Go, you go for it. Do you have, do you have all of your flyers in one uh, design in Canva? Like, is it all in one thing, different pages? Here's my problem. I'm only on Tuesday on my flyer so far. It's taking me a long, long time to make them. But yes, I have them all in one. So thing. you can actually make that as like a template and share it to anybody oh, okay. to see it. Then they can go in if they have Canva and they can replace your pieces with their pieces. So you can still share with everybody, but it's, it, it, yes, it's your personalized stuff, but they can fix it to theirs. Yeah. And use oh my God. It. So this is my can, head right now. It just blew up my head. No idea it. that was even can, possible. So yes, but yeah, we can definitely do that. I have my first Facebook party starting this Sunday. So I have a deadline to get all of these flyers done this week because oh I God. have to start posting them yeah. on Sunday. So got to get it done. I do. I got to get it done. <laughs> Jen, your party's I actually had my, my PRB last year was higher than any time that I've been with Cincy, even at my events because of your parties. Good. I, mean, I, I share it again with all my team members because it's too easy not to follow. You know, yeah. I like the dog out there. I just replace your dog with our dogs. You know, I put replace our pictures with your pictures. Mm -hmm. I do verbatim from that party. It's like it's too easy not to follow. So everybody's sharing the link in the group, but I do want to tell you guys the link or the group also has a link for this file. And this is like, if you have more than one party going on and you're a hot mess like me, you can write all your parties at the top here and make sure that you get the post in each party. It tells you um, these are Sunday's posts. These are Mondays. These are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I go live Friday, Saturday, Sunday. My parties are Sunday to Sunday with a live on Thursday. Super easy. If I have like three or four or five or six going on that week, I do have to use this. And I also like to like write the totals at the top to keep track of, you know, how my hostesses are doing because I do go in the group chat and I'm like, hey, Clarissa, you know, you're at $139 in sales. Great job. And I'll tell them what each other's at because we're having a contest to see who can have the biggest Facebook party that week so they can get a little extra prize. So, but this is in the mock Facebook party group. If you click on files, it's right there. And you're posting the hostess thing when you're saying who's got what. You're doing this in your VIP group? Sorry, I think I missed that. No, um, my yeah. hostesses, I put in a chat. So my hostesses oh. are all in a Facebook chat for the week. Whether I have two hostesses or six hostesses, I put them in a chat together because I don't want to retype the same thing over and over to them. And I kind of make it like a little game. I say, hey, you guys, we're going to use this chat throughout the week so you know what's going on with the party. I'll tell you when I'm going to post. I'll ask you to make a post if you can. Awesome. If you can't, it's okay. But your sales are going to be higher if you follow my instructions. I make sure I tell them that. And you're going to get more free and half off Cincy if you will just do the things that I ask you to do. Um, so yeah, just a little group chat to, to coach them during the week. If they don't want to do anything, fine. If they think it's annoying, they can leave the chat, you know? I love it. So simple. <laughs> so simple. So that's what I was going to ask you, Jen, is surely, like, you have parties that rock. We obviously know that. But surely you have parties that flop, too. So mm -hmm. do you let that bother you? How do you get over it? How do you not let it, like, kill your vibe to where you don't want to do parties for a week, a month, a season, whatever? You can't let anything kill your vibe. You can't. You just can't. You have to keep, you have to keep going. You have to keep trucking. These are my parties from before um, the last spring and summer. So I had one that was 139. And she's still working to get a few orders and that's okay. I had one that was in 192, one that was 269, one that was 646. So, you know, they're, they're just all over the place. So that's why I try to schedule at least five to six a week, because I know at least, you know, two or three of them is going to be successful, but if it's not successful, they don't get anything. I, I can't just be giving away free stuff. So I do tell them, you know, a minimum party is $200. You're not going to post in my VIP group and ask my VIPs for order. I'm not going to throw extra orders on there for you. Like this is super easy. You can get to 200. 
That's what I tell my hostesses. I'm like, you can do this. You can do this. And the parties that flop, you tried. You did your best. You tried. Don't let it deter you. Don't let anything deter you from doing anything in this business. Get off of the Facebook. Get off of the Facebook groups. That's the best thing I did last year, you guys, was get off of all of the Facebook groups where you see drama from other Sensi consultants, where you see people organ, uh, arguing about this or arguing about that. Like, get out of all those groups. Do your own thing, and you'll have high PRV, like me over For here. Sure. And and you party a lot, and a lot of your PRV comes from parties, but that's not where all of your PRV comes from, right? Right. So so what else do I, you? I try to do a special every week for my customers. Let me think what I did this past week. Oh, I did an August hot mess box. I did a fresh box because I wasn't ready for fall and winter scents. So I did an August hot mess box that was a fresh box. Um, I'll, I'll do $15 mystery bags again and split up the whiff box. Um, I'm always pushing like six packs, those cute little six pack flyers that everyone makes. There was just like berry licious and pumpkin palooza and apple floating around. So my people that are ready for fall scents are like, give me that apple six pack or give me that pumpkin six pack. So I'm trying to, you know, just do something new and different every week for my VIPs, whether it's putting a laundry special together by saying you have this many customers and, you know, working out the hostess rewards to get laundry love as cheap as I can for them or doing 10 bars for 40. Um, I always do specials for them and they feel appreciated and they know that, you know, I appreciate their support and they come back to me. So. Yeah, and what are you your, tell us an example of what is in a hot mess box, any of your hot mess boxes, your favorite hot mess box, just tell us. Yeah. So how this, much month is, extra this month is the add. fresh. Yeah. This month is the fresh box and it has a Palm beach breeze scentsy fresh. It has a eucalyptus wreath bar, a scarlet sunflower bar, a windowsill breeze dryer disc. And then I always do a little piece of candy. I don't, I don't do any BS, you guys. I don't go to the dollar store and get this. I don't make this craft or anything that's going to stress me out. I do a treat every month. It's probably going to be like gum or mints this month because it's a fresh box. If I don't put that treat in there or that one little Snickers bar or Musketeers bar, my customers tell me about it. They're like, well, where was the treat this month? So I keep it super simple. There's not an instruction sheet in there that's all cute and decorative and telling them everything like that stuff is cute. Don't get me wrong, but I don't have time for that. It stresses me out even thinking about doing all of that, making all that, printing it, crafting. So I keep them super short and simple. And there's actually a really good video somewhere. We'll have to find it. I know Amber probably remembers where it is about my hot mess boxes. And it's just me talking about them for a while. I think it's an ele elevate, maybe. Right. I do remember seeing that training somewhere too. At one yeah, time. I'll have to find it. I'll see if I can find it. I just saw a question come up that I think is good because I get asked this by my teenies a lot too. How do you have so much stock to give away? And I don't think you, you really do a lot of giveaways. I think your giveaways are like you said, sample packs. So to clarify the hot mess boxes, like these cutesy things that she's putting together, she's selling those, the mystery bags, she's yeah. selling those. So for her giveaways, I, I don't think that she gives away a lot of stock. My giveaways are usually a circle or a bar of the scent of the month, or I got these cute little six pack things that have all my six favorite scents. I just melted them down in their samples. My giveaways are not anything huge. You do a lot of PRD through Scentsy Club too, right? Oh yeah. I love oh, Scentsy yeah. Club, you guys. I get about 1500 to $3,500 a month, depending on the month, how many people are in my Scentsy Club. But I am always talking about Scentsy Club, especially if there is a new scent that came out that was awesome, like Moana. I loved the Moana scent, so I told all my customers they needed to add it to Scentsy Club. If we have Bring Back My Bar, if we have the transition like we just had last month, you know, every other day I'm reminding my people, hey, these scents are retiring. Make sure you get them in your Scentsy Club. If someone joins Scentsy Club, I have this cute little flyer I made on Canva that says, you know, thank you for joining, enjoy your perks and your discounts. And it talks about how they get, you know, the percentage off or the half off item at this, you know, and then I post that in my VIP group and I create FOMO for all of my other VIPs who haven't joined 
Scentsy Club yet. So make a cute little flyer. And then whenever one of your customers joins the club, um, post it in your VIP and say, Amber, thanks for joining Scentsy Club. Enjoy your perks. Um, sometimes I'll do it when their order shipped. I have this other flyer and it'll say, you know, your order, your Scentsy Club orders on the way. Enjoy your, you know, retired bars. And then I'll tag everybody as their club orders are shipping out too. I don't do any fun mail for my Scentsy Club subscribers because I have so many. I've been thinking about, I've been talking to Maggie Hensley about doing it quarterly because I know she rocks Scentsy Club and she rocks the little cute little um, mail outs that she sends to her customers. So I'm working on something like that for my people, but um, just talk about it. Talk about it. You should be subscribed to Scentsy Club every month when your Scentsy Club comes in. You should be opening it live on Facebook or Instagram reel, whatever they do over in the Instagram world. Um, you should be opening it, talking about Scentsy Club while you're going live, creating FOMO if people aren't subscribed to it yet. Um, I love it. I love Scentsy Club. Okay, is there anybody else? We have about 10 minutes left. And if there isn't any, then I have a million questions I can ask. I know, Amber said the chat's going crazy. Um, <laughs> I'll try to go through and answer those if you guys tell me where to go to do, do you it. Have a I'll just read them to you, Jen. Do you have a okay. big team? And if so, how do you manage that with all of your customers? Um, okay, so I'm an SSD. So my group is almost 800. Um, it's a lot. I try to train my leaders to do Teamy Tuesday. Amber taught me this. Teamy Tuesday. So you shout out your top 10 teammates on Tuesday. And then Frontline Friday, you shout out your top 10 Frontline on Friday. I try to train my leaders to do the same thing. Um, we have a Facebook group for our team, and then I have a Facebook group for my leaders. Um, but they know, they know they can reach out to me if, they're, if their leader's not helping them. Um, and if they need more help, I offer coaching calls to my team when I can. Um, I spend a lot of time on my team too, so it's, it's, it's a lot. I'm hoping to be at 1,500 consultants by the end of the year. That's my goal. Uh, here's one I keep seeing. Do you send out a host package? I do. Do you guys want to see what's in it? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me find one. Is anybody else overwhelmed that she has five to seven parties a week or does anybody else do that? I want to hear in the chat, how many parties you guys have booked this week? So you can, you can wow me. Zero. Cause I have no flyers. I have zero. I so did is, one, but the lady did not sell nothing. And I was on her. Aw. Yeah. It's, it happens. it's a weird month. It happens ask, to everybody. It happens how, to everybody. How do you get people to actually either join Sensi? Sorry, I'm cutting up uh, garlic. Um, how do you get them to join Sensi or get into a hosting? Um, I like to flip a lot of parties. I do a lot of party flipping to get people to join. If they are rocking a, a Facebook party and it's $500 or more, they should be joining my team. So especially we have that awesome shooting star kit going on this month. So um, anybody that has a rocking party this month, you should definitely offer to flip and give them that kit. My hostess packet is super easy, you guys. It's just this clear envelope that I got on Amazon, six by nine. It's a six by nine poly mailer. It holds the catalog. I send them one catalog. I send them the scratch and sniff sticker sheets that I made. Um, I send them a wish list so they can write down everything that they want to get for free and half off. I made this on Canva. It says, here's your free products over here. Here's your half off products over here. And it has what you can and cannot get with hostess rewards down at the bottom because a lot of hostesses will ask you that. Um, and then this is a hostess homework sheet that I made up and it just, you know, hostess to do's. And then on the back, this is key. You wanna try to get them to fill this out. This is their guest list and it has a spot for follow-ups. So have they RSVP'd one week, the day before the actual live, and the day before we close, I want them following up with these people if they have not ordered. If they have ordered, I post a thank you in the party and they see it and they cross it off of their list. So I make a big deal about this list in my 
hostess chat that I have on Facebook with them, I tell them to send me a picture of it and I'll give them a free bar of the scent of the month if they send me a picture of this list filled out in nine out of 10 times, they will do it. And then I also have this little do's and don'ts for Facebook parties that I made in Canva and I can upload these somewhere for you guys if you want me to, I can put them in the mock party. Um, since everybody's joining the mock party right now, I'll just throw them in there for you guys. So three pieces of paper, one catalog, one scratch and sniff. I usually give them a sample. I have pink cotton washer whiffs right now. I give them a cotton cleanup. I need to put a label on here because they're always asking me what the heck it is. And then I give them a pen with my name on it. And that's it. And I try to have that to them at least two to three weeks before the party is going to start so they can be working on that guest list. Easy peasy. I love it. Okay, yes. and then what do you do, because you are such a busy person, you're doing all these parties and you're running this huge team, what do you do for self-care? Oh my gosh, I do a lot. Um, walk my dogs a lot, take my dogs places, I love to go kayaking, I love to go to the park and just walk around and hike and be in the outdoors, I'm a very, I like to be outdoors, I have a four-door Jeep, we take the doors off, we take the roofs off, we go for a Jeep ride. Um, you have to do things for yourself and for your mental health. You have to rest when you need to rest, most definitely, um, and take time for yourself, no matter what you like to do. All right, guys, we have time for one or two more questions. Feel uh -oh. free to either unmute yourself or put it in the chat and then we can read it to her. Um, raise your hand. Yeah. I won't Anybody? fight you. Ashley Slater, I feel like you really have a question. <laughs> Ashley Slater, don't make me call you out. She's my <laughs> front line. You unmute your beautiful self and talk to Jen. Oh my gosh, she probably knows me. She's seen my face a million times. What do I cover in my party lives? You know, one of my um, teammates just had a great a great idea. She puts a poll in her party the day before the live and says, what would you like to talk about on the live party? You know, what are you most interested in? And then it gets them to engage in a poll in the group. So I'm going to start doing that the day before. So probably one of my Wednesday posts will actually be a poll um, to see what they want me to talk about in the live. Amber, Amber keeps messaging me, you guys, on the side. I haven't even had time to read them. You can read them all later. I'm just telling you things as they pop into my mind. I, I think everybody, I think everybody's at my house. I think my parents are here. I think Sheila just got here. I think Bella and her boyfriend just got here. <laughs> you must have a lot of products to sort. Yes. She really all the has people in pizza. She's not kidding. It's a great they're going, idea. They're going for a four, four roller ride. I'm next. I, I do a have a great group of people. When you do your live parties, when you go live, how long are they lasting? Are they 30 minutes, 60 minutes? I try to keep them between 25 and 30 minutes because I don't think they should go any longer than that. You should talk about, I used to talk about every product. Now that I'm going to be doing the highlight where I make a poll and see what they want me to talk about, I probably won't talk about everything because we have a lot of products. It's, it's, we've come a long way in nine years when I first started with Scentsy and it's impossible to talk about everything on a live because you're going to be on there for, you know, an hour or so. Hi, Sheila. Thank you. A very good question from Janine just came in. She said she's about to be gone for two weeks and all the big things are happening in the Scentsy world with the new harvest release when she's going to be gone. I know you travel all the time. Um, how does she keep her business going when she's gone? So the best thing to do is to do a Google form for these releases. That way no one is messaging you an order on Facebook or texting or email or anything like that. So I always am like, even if a customer messages me and says, hey, Jen, I want that enchanted pumpkin warmer. I'll say, here's the Google form, fill this out. This is how I have to keep track of everything because you've got to do what is easy for you. So, you know, I take my laptop on vacation. I take order forms with me. Um, if there's something coming out on a Monday, I just try not to plan anything fun with the family that Monday until I get that order in for my customers. So 
you just have to do what works for you and your customers and don't stress yourself out. Have a good vacation. Have a great vacation. Don't worry about your sales too much. Enjoy the time with your family, your friends, whoever you're going on vacation with. Hi. Hi. What's going on out there? Is there a party? <laughs> okay, so you guys, we are at the top of the hour. I want to thank Jen on behalf of the whole Dreamstruck panel um, for taking your time just to explain these things to everybody here. Um, I know I have three pages of notes. I don't know about you guys, but I have three whole damn pages. You can never stop learning. And that is the joy of our business. Like we can never stop learning from each other. Um, it doesn't matter what rank you are in this business. You just got to constantly keep feeding your brain with new ideas and new, new knowledge. Um, I think that's about it. Unless everybody else has one last thing to say to Jen before she leaves. I don't want to keep her. I know she has company and she probably has a lot of stuff to put away. So you guys, I'm almost, I'm almost out of friend request on Facebook. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's, oh my gosh, I just changed it. It's hot underscore mess life. I, I was just looking for my phone and it's right in front of me. Um, I think that's what it is. If not, I'm the only Jen Holderly and it's two N's, J-E-N-N. -N. So follow me on Instagram. I'll try to remember to post on there. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. Thank Bye, you. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Jen. Thanks again. Bye, Amber. I love you. Bye, I love you too. I'll see you soon. Yes. Bye. Bye.